Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Live in 5 show, where we are living live. Bad, bad day is a vine sensation. We have one of his crazy videos for you coming up. And imagine getting suspended in the air when a roller coaster freezes up. When a roller coaster freezes up, riders in Hollywood just experienced this. This story is on the way. My forecast is going to be so cool, it's going to be cooler than hearing about just... Again, okay. No one cares about weather. At least I can tell it good. America gives up the, an artifact that's, two, that's 2,700 2, years old in Iran. Why? We'll tell you after the break. Don't go away. We have more to talk about on the other side of the way. Thanks. Why are you two out of dress code? What do you think you're doing? Don't have a yearbook or do you want to buy one to your friend? Well, we have a solution for you. So talk with for our school and raise money to purchase a yearbook. It's easy. Just go to the link on my left and print the permission slip. Then turn it into Mr. Porter in room 205 and he'll give you more information. Welcome back. Now it's time for the play-by-play. -play. Are you wearing Trojan blue tomorrow? Earn points for your homeroom. Also, have fun after the gates close with your family at Family Fun Night from 6 till 7.30. Thursday, save yourself. It's a California great takeout. Jazz points, jazz points up for your homeroom on Friday by wearing your sporty college t-shirts. Make BJ's a pit stop night. A pit stop not out. Enjoy a mouth-watering meal on October 23rd from 11 a.m. to 10 to midnight. Bring your flyer and Ted Soft will receive some of the yummy funds. That wraps up the play by play. We're back after the break. still remains partially shut down due to Congress's failure to create a timely budget. Congress is making better progress and Obama has now stated that the government should be reopening this Thursday. That is, that is good news to the 800,000 federal workers still out of work. The Hollywood coaster rip rocket suspended people 140 feet in the air last Wednesday. The roller coaster was stuck for over two hours. Most were escorted off safely, but a few people remained stuck. The ride malfunctioned and shut down at the highest point. After all the may mayhem, the ride is now in the process of being repaired. An, eight, an 818 karat white diamond was sold in Hong Kong for 30.6 30, 30 million dollars to an unknown Asian collector. The white diamond was the biggest sold jewel at an auction. David Bennett, the man who sold that diamond, had told the CNN that you can't use this diamond to be an investment. Asia has been rapidly growing as a prominent jewel consumer of the past two decades. 
During the meeting in Iran with the president, the United States diplom dip sorry, I can't speak today. Um, diplomacy it gives back a 2,700 year artifact as a sign to Iran as their newfound friendship. Iran's culture, Chief says, it's a delight to see it back to where it was formed. The Persian artifact says it says to be worth over more than a million dollars. Let's see what's going on in the entertainment world with Alyssa. Good morning, Alyssa. How are you today? Thank you, Dylan. I'm doing very fine today. Vine sensation Bad Dad is unmasked. His ridiculous voice and footage made him one of the most popular Vine celebrities. Bat Dad came to be when he put on a mask at Target and said, I'm Bat Dad, and formed from there he became a hot sensation on Vine. Bat Dad says that he would change, sorry, hate to embarrass his children on the internet, but became a big sensation on Vine. Hopefully he will continue to post hilarious content. Gravity reached a record breaking of $55.6 billion. The money came from 3,575 theaters with 20% revenue and 80% from the 3D version. The movie features Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. This movie tops several movies, including Paranormal Activity, Batman, and Robin. This film also has a broad audience consisting of 54% male, 46% female, and 59% were above the age of 35. Gravity received an A, excuse me, minus A from audience who watched the movie. That wraps up your Live in 5 Entertainment Report. Time now to see what's happening in weather. Good morning, Jorge. Good morning, Liz. All right, we've got a little warmer temperature than 75, 70s around there in Los Angeles, 82, 76 San Francisco. Here in Salt Lake City, it is 58, and here, I'm sorry, I, I need to get new glasses. Here, 73 in El Paso, Caribou, 60 degrees, 64 Boston, 68 New York, and 72 Washington. Let's get to your five-day forecast. It's going to be mainly in the high 80s. Today will be 88. 90, Thursday will be 85, Friday 86, and Saturday 85, all with a, a sunny day. Your fun fact of the day is, did you know tornado, tornadoes can be blue? They're known as water spouts. They're made out of water. I think I just sucked out all of the fame. Before we get to that, let's see what's happening in the What Port Report. Good morning, Dylan. Thank you, Jorge. Today we have a Damien with us. Damien, can you read a What Port? Is the new backpack a little cool? One reader said no, because my locker is always jammed. Another reader said yes, because my backpack won't hurt as much. We want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us at Live and Five Show to vote. Send your comments to hashtag Live and Five Poll or email us at webpoll at Live and Five Show dot com. And if it's good, we will read it on the air. So, Damien, what do you think? Well, I don't think the backpack rule is cool because one, I can forget I forget stuff in my locker all the time because I can't bring my backpack and normally all my stuff is in there. So that causes me to miss assignments and stuff in class. All right, thank you. And I'd like to give a shout out to Aaliyah and Jonathan Hill. Now here's Sports with Abigail. So much sports action has been going on lately. First starting off with football, the San Diego Char Chargers beat the Indianapolis Colts 19-9. It was a tough game and also in hockey. Detroit and Boston have a head-to-head -head game, but in the end, Boston wins 3-2. Also, if you're interested in the basketball preseason games, then make sure not to miss the Lakers playing Golden State today at 4.30. And also some very delightful news. The Dodgers take their first win in the playoffs, creaming the St. Louis Cardinals 3-0. In other sporting news, Peyton Manning will return to Indianapolis to play against his former team this upcoming week. After being with the Colts for 13 years, he got traded to the Denver Broncos. He will now return to his old stadium to try and win against his old team. He still loves the people of Indianapolis and is grateful for what they have accomplished with the team, but he will have to put that all aside. Next week, it will be a bitter return. 
but he is with the Broncos now, which is his main priority. Going into the game, he hopes to lead his new team to victory. Sebastian Vettel seems unstoppable when it comes to Formula One racing. He's winning the World Series with the help of Team Red Bull. He can make his car go faster than anybody else because he understands the aerodynamics of the car. The head mechanic, mechanic teaches Vettel everything about the car. All of his training is at the Red Bull racetrack. That's a wrap on sports. Time now for the Daily 411 Challenge. Thank you, Abigail. Time now, Trojans, for your Daily 411. I think. Yes. Who created the internet? Okay, okay. Mr. Porter, obviously not. Vince, Vince Cerf, Tony Stark, or Thomas Edison? Take five. What is this in the back? Yeah. Obviously, Mr. Porter did not create the internet. Let's be real. Okay. The answer is Vince Cerf. Just in time for the new Star Wars saga, scientists at Mid Harvard University may have found a way to make real lightsabers. They actually discovered a way to bind photons together. The is wow. The muscle particles that. Particles that do not, <coughs> sorry, uh, both have shot through rubidin atoms, the photons that came out of the cloud and were clumped together in a single molecule. Fans of Star Wars Saga will surely be excited to hear this out of the world news. That's our show for today. Visit our website to match today's broadcast online at liveand5show.com. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Live and Five Show. See you back here tomorrow.